Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am feeling so good. I'm so excited for this video. I'm so beyond excited to announce that I did make it on the Sephora squad for 2021. So this is about to be round two and it is so lit. I'm so excited. It honestly means so much to me. And I figured I wanted to take a moment to actually explain to you guys all about Sephora squad, why it's like such a huge deal, specifically, especially like for me. Um, I also wanted to share a little bit of my journey as a content creator. I know there are tons of people out there who see us doing our thing and don't really understand A, everything that goes behind it, and B, if they want to do it themselves, they don't understand like how or like where to possibly get started. So I want to kind of share my little testimony, my experience on the Sephora squad. I also asked you guys to submit some questions, so I will be doing a little Q&A towards the end and also just giving my best advice. For beginners who want to kind of start on their own journey of creating their own content and everything okay so let's get started okay so i think it probably would just make sense if i just start from the beginning how did i get into creating content and all of that stuff and um basically it actually all started with sephora i used to be a major tomboy believe it or not i don't think i've actually ever mentioned this on youtube but i used to play football like on a national level i was on the cayman islands national team and by football i mean soccer okay the real football <laughs> um and yeah we we did tournaments everything we were in the world cup qualifying rounds called Concacaf, and we played against haiti the u.s like it was serious okay football was my life um and when i was about how old was I? I think I was in like the whole, between like 15 to 17. Y'all, I got injured really bad. I had to get two knee surgeries. I did one, it wasn't very successful, so I ended up injuring it again. I had to do another surgery again. And yeah, after that, I just thought like, you know, <laughs> I think it may be time for me to actually retire from football. And so to have to like give up something that was like your life's purpose for something that was like out of your control it was an injury it was just it was awful it was like a really really dark period in my life I literally had been playing football all my life so when I lost football I felt like I lost myself and oh my gosh am I getting a little emotional uh, uh. <laughs> guys but no seriously it was like one of the absolute hardest moments in my life Ever. I lost myself I lost my future path that I was on I'm a planner right so I just I lost all of that and it was really 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 difficult it was really difficult because I didn't know who I was without football so um, I even garnered a relationship with God through football as well so it was just I had to like figure out my entire life all over again so college was a huge experience for me to just find myself again and then I discovered Sephora and honestly this is where I got obsessed this is where I just it's just all thanks to Sephora honestly which is why again the Sephora squad is just such a major thing because Sephora actually it might sound a little silly or like superficial but finding a new passion through Sephora for makeup for skincare it was really mainly those two at the time I still had relaxed hair at the time and everything and that is where I was just like wow that was the first time I started to feel passionate and excited about something ever since I had to retire from my dream football life yes I spent my last dollar <laughs> on Sephora I would eat ramen but my face would be looking because we got the makeup and everything that's when I started feeling like okay I want to share this like this is giving me so much love and so much light that I gotta share it so um, that's when I started to just post here and there on Instagram and like it kind of gradually got more and more serious as time went on but initially I was just like this is just what I'm gonna do we'll just see like how it goes it's like a snowball effect it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I think when I really noticed most of the growth was when I started my natural hair journey because at that point I had had my Instagram and then I had also had like a freshly freshly new YouTube I think my hair journey is actually the reason why I ended up going out on YouTube I was too scared and also I was never like makeup artist level 
you know? So I thought, oh, people aren't gonna care about my makeup videos. But when I went natural is when I felt like I actually had something to share. I got tons of questions on Instagram. Tons of you wanting to know, like, how are you styling your hair? What are you using? Like, I was like, I have to get on YouTube because I literally can't share all of this on Instagram. It's impossible. So then, um, yeah, chopped off my hair, started my YouTube channel, and what I've done since day one on my platforms is like, whatever gives me light, whatever fuels me and gives me passion and like just, I don't know, I just get love and light from it, I love to just share that with you guys and that's what I've done since day one. And so yeah, that's basically how I started. I was doing all of this while working a full-time job. So I used to work in a law firm, I worked in the marketing department of a law firm and I handled like client events, at one point I was doing business development, planning trips for client, all that stuff, like all the stuff. I've always been a marketing person, but there was just something about when I got to create my content and really infuse my passion into what I was creating. That was just another, like a different side of marketing that I was really, really, really excited by. But for a while, it was like about two and a half years or so that I was balancing both. Full-time job that was very, very, time consuming, pretty demanding on my schedule, especially during like busy times. And at the same time, any free moment that I got, was I taking a nap? Absolutely not, I was creating content. My friends used to tease me because I would go, like they would invite me to like brunch or something and I would always be late. I hate being late, but I just, I was so busy trying to do stuff that they would start teasing me. Like from time I rolled up late, they'd be like, let me guess, you were filming a video. And I'm like, yeah, they're like, whatever. And I'm like, leave me alone. Like this is my thing, this is what I love to do. It was just my passion and I just ran with it, you know? Um, so even with my friends teasing me, and don't, don't get me wrong, my friends were always 100% supportive. So I am blessed. They've always supported me, always supported my content. But at that two and a half year mark, it came to a point where brands were starting to pay me for content they were expecting content at certain deadlines and I just it was really it became a huge struggle trying to balance my passion for creating content which was becoming way 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 more time-consuming um, and also my full-time job which was paying the bills it was just like okay which one is really gonna give me more life so I literally sat down one day and I was just like what do you want out of life? Like, what do you want? Like I said, I've always been a planner. So I'm like, what's next? Long story short, I decided to do something really crazy and quit my job, pick up from Cayman, because all of this is happening in the Cayman Islands. That's where I was born and raised. Caribbean girl, shout out to my Caymanians if you are watching this. I love y'all. Um, but yeah, I decided to pick up, quit my job, and move here to Atlanta. So this was January of 2020, and really take this seriously full time, and also in a place where I could better connect with you guys. All signs were pointing to me to get up and move in order to further my content and to further my platforms and to take it to the level I really, really wanted to take it. Because I decided, you know, this is what I wanted to do in my life. This is what I wanted my life to look like. So I said, you know what? It's not gonna happen unless I just do it. In the moment, when I'm like saving money, I'm making all these decisions to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do in order to move. In the moment, I'm just like, all right, cool. I'm just getting things done. I'm doing what I need to do. But now that I've done it, I've moved and I'm looking back and I was only 25 when that happened and I was just like, you're crazy. <laughs> no, like nothing in the moment told me I was crazy, but looking back, I'm just like, that is a crazy, bold thing to do. And my parents literally were just like, okay, we're supporting you. Um, you got this, we'll help you in any way we possibly can. Bless them because I don't think I honestly could have done it if they kept like looked at me sideways like, are you crazy, you know? But they supported me the whole time, so. But now I look back like, dang, that was really ballsy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really proud of myself for that and I think that kind of showed how important this was to me, how much passion I really and truly have for the content that I do create and it's huge. And then of course, 2020 happened and I already knew that I was gonna be away from my friends and family but the plan was to travel back and forth as often as I possibly could. Like I was supposed to be seeing people at least once a month. I'm also in a long distance relationship that you guys know about and so George and I specifically had a plan like we'll see each other every month 
either he'll come up here or I'll go home for a little bit and we'll figure it out and it'll be fine. Um, so even that in my head, I was like only once a month, like that's crazy. So I already had it in my, my head. I wasn't going to see my friends and family nearly as often as I was used to seeing them when I lived in Cayman. But then 2020 happened and I went months and months without seeing my friends and family. Of course, the market as well for content creators, influencers, it became a weird thing where nobody wanted to be selling stuff, marketing stuff on Instagram because there's a whole global crisis going on in the world, you know what I mean? So a lot of brands shut down campaigns. Obviously, events were 100% shut down. And what was I doing? I was just sitting here like, excuse me? <laughs> it to say that it was rough is an absolute, absolute understatement, okay? 2020, and also even like the beginning of 2021, even right now, right now, as I'm talking to you guys, it's hard, but especially 2020, let me tell you, I was tested. I spent a number of days in bed just because I couldn't get up. I literally could not get up out of bed because I felt like such complete crap. Like I moved here, my savings were going real quick because I had bills to pay and I had no money coming in. The world is in crisis. So not only was I personally like, you know, going through something, but also the world is in crisis as well. Like I'm in a new city. I could not meet people and help myself feel better by like, you know, connecting with great people here. But never once, you know what? Looking back, never once did I actually say, oh, I regret this. I did question it a little bit like, mm, like, did you do the right thing? Like, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, I always felt like, no, I'm here for a reason. This is the life that I chose and it's still the life that I'm gonna figure out how to create no matter what. And I just kept going and somehow, by the grace of God, you know, my parents helped me out for rent for a long time. A long time. God bless them. My parents, the support system that I have with my friends FaceTiming me, my parents helping me out a little bit financially as best as they could. Like, I think my support system is honestly and truly like one of the biggest factors of why I'm where I am now. And I feel weird saying that because I'm nowhere near like my end goal, I'm nowhere near that. But I've also learned how important it is to just slow down, take a second and actually celebrate yourself. Celebrate the moment that you're in right now and the things that you have accomplished already. It, it's just so important to do that. I am terrible with that. So that's kind of what this video is about, is just celebrating me and where I've come how we've got here and me also sharing with you guys how you can do the same thing. So then came Sephora Squad in 2020. Um, yeah, so my I actually signed on with a management team at the same time that I moved here to Atlanta because I wanted, I needed help. I needed help bringing the money in. But again, with everything that happened, the global crisis, and everything, it still was really, really slow in the beginning. But the, the best thing that happened was that my management team literally said to me, you need to apply for the Sephora squad. And I said, huh? I'm like, Sephora squad? I literally thought like, I'm not good enough to be on the Sephora squad. I literally would have never ever thought to apply if it weren't for my management team. Literally, like it's, Oh, it's so crazy. So when I applied and then I got in, it was around May of 2020. So I had already gone through a lot, a lot, a lot of ups, downs, depression, questioning what I had done, but feeling like something's got to come out of this. And then Sephora Squad. I just, it was like a full circle moment for me to have found life through Sephora so many years ago and then to be here now again in a super dark period where I'm like freaking out, I don't know what's gonna happen. And then boom, Sephora Squad says we love you and we wanna work with you for a year. I cannot even tell you how amazing that was. So for the people who are new here or you still kind of just a little confused about what Sephora Squad is and how it all works, it's just a year contract to work with Sephora and you get to create content with them on certain social media campaigns. That's basically the basic gist of it. So they pick a group, like quite a large group. It's usually somewhere between like 
60 to 70 influencers that they choose and so all of you are part of the squad and everybody just creates different pieces of content for Sephora throughout that one year period so it's really really fun the great thing is not only are you working with freaking Sephora but you are also opening yourself to opportunities with all the brands that are within Sephora as well so like Sephora will come to me for a campaign and say like okay this month we want to focus on scalp stuff like I know you guys saw me do scalp campaigns last year um, and so they'll say okay we need you to create content for this then I get the products and blah 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 but now they're also allowing like for the brands within Sephora let's say for example Fenty has a new um, lipstick coming out or something then Fenty can say okay we want to work with the Sephora squad members on pushing out some content for this new lipstick and then so you see what I mean like it just opens up a world of opportunity and then also in addition to creating content you get to connect with the rest of the squad members which I love so much I absolutely love connecting with other creators it's just like next level it's just so good every single time um, you also get access to exclusive Sephora squad events so that's one thing about this year that I'm hoping and praying for that we could have some in-person events. I will say Sephora Squad did an incredible job last year of their virtual events. I literally enjoyed every single virtual event that they did, but I'm really, really hoping and praying for some in-person events this year. I will also love to go out and like meet a lot of you, my subscribers, my supporters, my followers, the reason why I'm here. Like without your support, none of this would have been possible. So I'm just, I'm literally just so, Oh, I'm just so thrilled and so so excited about all of this. So yeah, last year absolute blast um, I loved the fact that they are coming through with the curly hair brands I also love the fact that they did that 15% pledge. They are going to have at least 15% of their shelves dedicated to black owned brands which I absolutely love so so much I just really commend Sephora for their diversity and I just I love to be a part of it I'm very excited I'm very excited for all the things this year all right so I screenshotted a bunch of your questions so I want to go ahead and answer some of them I know it was a few people who it seemed like the people who were asking questions were people who wanted to actually become a content creator themselves so let's see what we got here. Tips for beginner content creators. I have no posted videos yet. Also in my head were BFFs. Oh, we are BFFs. Hey girl, hey BFF. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so tips for beginner content creators. My number one tip always, 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 always is to just get started. Get started. Pull the camera out and press record every single time you create a piece of content from the time you sit down, from the from the way you do your makeup, from, you know, everything that you do in that piece of content, you learn something from it every single time. So try not to limit yourself by overwhelming thoughts of how much it's going to take and like worrying about what other people are going to think. Like, no, get started. And that'll be a lot easier once you have a clear kind of focus on like what you want to do like what what are you creating and why are you creating it and once you have that figured out just get started don't let anything hold you back you can't afford a camera use your phone you literally do not need a massive super expensive setup nowadays phones like you're gonna have a phone anyway right so use your smartphone like they're good enough to create decent enough content until you can start making money and then invest in a nicer studio all right so next question is asking are there different categories to apply for in the sephora squad so no you just apply to be a sephora squad member even though i was a part of the sephora squad 2020 i still had to go back reapply the same way as everybody else and it's a very simple process you just answer a bunch of questions and then submit it and then that's your application this year we also had to submit a cute little like 15 second video saying exactly why like why do you want to be on the Sephora squad so that was really cool as well actually I'll go ahead and play mine now so you guys can see exactly why for me it's about celebrating the diversity of beauty it's about taking something that gives you so much joy and makes you feel so beautiful and just being able to share that love and light and pass it forward to everyone else this is my purpose and this is why I'm here. But yeah, so there's also Sephora Squad launch partners. So these are actually handpicked by Sephora. You can't actually apply to be a launch partner, um, but they're like a step up. So they still work with Sephora Squad. Um, they help, they kind of help out and like mentor 
all the other Sephora squad members as well. They're launch partners, absolutely love them and I really look up to them and the way that they create content and everything like that. Um, but yeah, there's only one category that you can actually apply for within the Sephora squad and that's just a Sephora squad member. Do, do, do. How did you decide your rates from the very beginning to where you are now? Let me tell you, that was always a struggle, which is why I'm so glad that I have management now because that was just, it was really difficult. It's so, so easy to also just take um, nickels and dimes and just be like, okay, fine, because you want like the little short change as opposed to nothing. Um, but if there's one thing I've learned is that you need to know your worth. You gotta take into consideration the your studio equipment, your camera, um, your time you are like the time it takes to get ready for the type of content that you're actually trying to create how long is it going to take you to edit that content and get it ready to be pushed out you know what i mean so you got to take all of this into consideration and then also obviously take into consideration your platform what's your level of engagement how many followers do you have um engagement is a huge thing because there are people with like 10k followers that can still make bank you know so um it's all about like really engaging and really connecting with your community um in terms of actually like deciding on your rates it's hard but that's that's kind of the thought process you should go through oh bloom with brie is also asking when did you decide to get a manager and why so like i said when i made the move over here i got a manager mainly because you know i'm doing this full time now i really want somebody to help me really make this something huge make it my full-time career because i didn't want to like do this and then struggle like i wanted to make money doing the thing that i absolutely love um so that's really the main reason why i actually found miss j through kathleen i saw that she was managing kathleen i'd also met her prior to seeing that she was doing management and stuff i met her on a trip when i went to dr with curls i met her there and then that's when i saw her name again and i saw that she was managing kathleen i was like hold on wait a minute i love kathleen and I loved Jay when I met her so I was like maybe this could work so then I reached out and then boom here we are so she's my manager images everything bomb.com and she really stands for she and her agency stand for like standing up for black creators because a lot of times we're already at a disadvantage just because we're black so I just love her I love her and she's a lot more than just a manager who's like oh let me get you the money and that's it like she supports us I like to call her my momager just because that's what she is she supports us she speaks life into us when we need she gives us literal life advice we, we learn about taxes how to do taxes as an entrepreneur and everything so i'll tag her details below in case you know some of you guys are interested in having a management team i definitely 10 out of 10 12 out of 10 recommend do you get free products yes <laughs> which means y'all get free products okay it's not just me because there's it's impossible for me to literally use like everything that i get it's actually impossible i'm only one person so you guys already know the deal i have giveaways ongoing so when i see people consistently engaging with my content, I just will slide in your DMs and be like, hey, can I send you a box of goodies? Um, so yeah, I get free products with me. Everybody get free products. You get free products. She get free products. We all get free products. And it's a whole happy thing. But yes, PR is huge and it's awesome. It's very, very exciting. Oh, someone's asking how often do you have to make videos for them? I would say it's every once in a while. Not everybody's contract is the same. That's another thing actually. Every squad member is going to have their own little contract. So some people may end up creating a lot more campaigns than some other squad members. That's just the way that it works. Um, I had a campaign, I would say at least every quarter, I would have at least one campaign um, in every quarter of the year. That's just kind of the way it worked out for me. Some quarters I had like three campaigns, some quarters I only had one, um, but yeah. It was pretty like frequent throughout the year kind of thing. It wasn't all just like at one time and then nothing, you know what I mean? But yeah, it looks like I kind of answered majority of your questions already as I was rambling on in this video earlier. So I think that's basically it, y'all. Um, I am just, again, I just want to say a super special thank you from the bottom of my heart for continuing to support my content over all of these years. I have big things planned. We are getting bigger and better, and we are leveling up. Let me tell you, just remember I said it, all right? And we're going to come back and we're going to reference this video for when all the things, I just, I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm literally so excited to take all of this to the next level y'all i hope this answered all of your questions but if it didn't 
you know what to do go ahead and comment below and we can have a little conversation on in the comments as well thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video bye